continue to have big fights for him. What do you think about uh, Canelo's most recent fight? His most recent performance? Ah, uh, his most recent performance was alright. I mean, it was a comeback fight. You know, it's a tough thing to bounce back from a loss. Uh, he bounced back. He made it through that debacle pretty good. And um, now he's going to look for bigger and better things. Where does he rank all time among Mexican fighters? Because when it comes to Mexican fighters, you know, you know them. You know well, Barrera. You know Sanchez. You know Chavez. Well, where does he rank? I'm gonna say it like this. You know, the times have changed. All right. And with the change of time, I'm always gonna have Salvador number one, Julio number two, and the list goes on. Barrera, they all go out. But when you get to Canelo, he came at a time when boxing kind of needed a face lift. Because um, Floyd and Pac were at the end, right. and Canelo was a young guy. And he lost to Floyd, which shows you that he didn't come in the way the other greats came in. They came in dominating. He came in on the losing side. But he still went on to have a great, illustrious career, and he had a lot of big fights in that time. And he beat a lot of good fighters in that time. So he's definitely good, and he's up there among probably the top five of them because of the era he came in and what he did. But when it comes to a pound for pound skills, he'd probably be around be a little tougher than nobody else. He might still put him in the top five, but that's a tough place to be because there are some really, really good fighters. Technically, and these guys, like like I said, nowadays, we judge more on our social media content, you know what I'm saying, than we are about our skills. Social media-wise, he'll probably be one of the top three. Skill-wise, probably one of the top six or something. Do you feel like Sanchez, Barrera, Morales, those guys were just a cut above? Just a, or touch, he... just a touch above. Uh, like I said, he is good. And... In some people's minds, he may be even better than some of those guys. In my mind, I think he probably, I probably give him top five even because he did so many things at such a young age. You understand know I me? Mean? But still, when those guys came, they came in dominating. Yeah. They didn't come in and lose to a guy at the top and then take over. No, they came in and dominate. Like you, you didn't lose to you were 35, 37. So it's hard to just give him. The top five over those type of fighters. You understand me? So that's I'm not. There's no disrespect to Canelo. Canelo's a great fighter. Still. Just keeping it real. Yes, sir. Yes. Now, now, Roy, I uh, also wanted to ask you something, right? With uh, Canelo, and, and he's in a fight. Supposedly he's in a fight Bovo again, right? Yep. But everyone, everyone and their mama wants Canelo Benavides. Yeah. Is that the fight you want as well? Of course. I mean, I don't see him beating Bivol no kind of way because Bivol is a bigger guy. Bivol is a style that's definitely not uh, really in line with what Canelo wants to fight. In my opinion, the styles don't match. Uh, so I'd rather see him fight Benavides because, first of all, it's a Mexican fight. There's two guys who have opposite styles or their, 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 their body, their body uh, compositions are perfect for a great, great fight. One guy's tall and lanky, he throws a lot of punches. The other guy's short and stockier, who throws powerful punches. That's the perfect matchup for a great fight. And why would we not, why would we not want to see that over the ball fight? I don't know. We don't, we don't, not many people think he really can beat the ball. Now, if he came back and beat the ball, he'd do something really incredible because he's changed a lot of our minds. But because of how long side the first fight was, we don't really see him beat the ball. So why would you not go in the fight date? A lot of people say that he's gonna that Bavo is probably gonna beat Canelo easier this time, and, and maybe even stop him or a wider decision. I think it'd be by a wider decision, yes, because last time he beat him wider than what the score was saying. So. Now uh, with Benavides, right? Like I said, everybody wants that fight. Canelo says I don't want to fight Mexican stuff like that. When you you fought everybody, right? And we talked, we had that conversation off camera about that gameness. Do you feel like that's what that's what boxing's missing right now? That 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 warrior spirit. Well, it's, it's what the world is. Not just boxing, the world is because too many people want to be team teammates or friends, and you know it's like this guy is great, but he want to be friends with this other guy that's great. No, that's not how you do that. You great, you go get your side. You let the other great guy go get his side, and y'all battle. That's what makes competition. That's what makes stuff stuff fun. You understand? Know you don't wait till this guy's down and out. Then you go beat. That don't mean that you didn't beat him at his best. It's only good if you be the guy that's the best. So it's like, oh, I don't fight Mexicans. I understand kind of what you're saying, but for me, for me personally, I don't really like that. Really like now, for so we're talking about the game, this right? Canelo, he should fight Benavides, right? Of Benavides is at his best. He's the next so. great fight out there. Why would you not? And like I said, you lost to the light heavyweight champ, which is cool. You went up the way, you tried to do something different, it didn't work. Okay, but well come back down here now and show that you're still the king of your division. Fight the next best available guy in your division. That's what I'm saying. That was the real sport. Now, also, um, I saw you recently in Vegas. You were, you were at, Dev, at, at Top Rank Gym with Devin Haney. Big fight coming up this Saturday, Devin Haney Loma. Break it down. What do you think of the fight and what do you think about the contrasting styles? Uh, the contrasting styles is very different because you got size versus technique. 
Devin has the size, Loma has the technique. Uh, Loma's always going to be one of my favorite fighters. Devin's going to always be one of my favorite guys, my favorite fighters, because I worked with him so much growing up that you know I just learned to love him. You know what I'm saying? And he's a, a phenomenal fighter and a phenomenal guy. So both guys are excellent fighters. It's like me watching two of my own kids go in there and go at it. You know because you like them both. I love them both. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's a big fight. Um, in my opinion, for Devin to win, Devin got to go in and impose his size and his power. He can't go in and try to win the fight on technique because Loma is technically way more advanced than he is. But he's younger and he has the size. So he got to use his positives to try to win the fight. On the other hand, Logan got to try to make it a boxing match so he can depend on his skills to try to manipulate the size and have an advantage for himself skill-wise. If he gets to be a skill fight, he can win it. So both guys go in the fight. It's uh, just a matter of who goes out and carries out what they need to do to win. If Devin imposes his style, Devin's going to beat him. If Logan come out and can make Devin boxing and he can impose his skill, then he'll be Devin. So it's a great fight, um, one that I can't wait to see the outcome. Um, right now, in my eyes, I mean, you pick them because, like I said, there's two ways to win the fight. One way for each guy. One guy can outbox the other guy, or the other guy can out overpower the other guy. So it's like, whichever one of these things happen, we'll figure out who the winner going to be. With, with Devin, right, he can win fights just alone with the jab. But also, also with the, with the right, the right hand is. Do you think the right hand will be key for this fight, or what do you think? The right hand is the key because if he can use the jab and use the right hand the way Lopez did against Loma to keep him out and keep him away from him for enough round to get a big enough lead with that jab, he can win the fight a lot easier. You feel me? But if he can't keep Loma off of him, then it'll be a little bit of a problem. Who do you got winning? Pick us. You pick. All right, man. Now, now, Roy. Last thing before we leave off. Ryan Garcia, Tank Davis. A lot of people are being critical. Of Ryan saying he quit. You've been in a situation before, where like with Kyle Zagler, where you're bleeding all over, and you stuck in there. What do you feel about Ryan? Did he quit, or is he giving a is he getting a bad rap? Uh, I'm not gonna say he was giving a bad rap because anytime time you're gonna take two steps backwards, then take a knee, you're gonna take that knee to get yourself back together, and then come back again. You don't take two steps. Take, take the nine count and get up. You don't take a two step backwards. Then take a knee, then don't get up no more. That just don't happen in boxing if you love boxing. Now, you could have other issues he's going through, I don't know. And, you know, you have to talk to Ryan to see. So, from what we saw, yeah, he kind of quit. But, like I said, sometimes there are other ingredients that cause the guy not to come back and give it his all. He may feel like he's not being treated fairly, or he may have not liked the way his training camp was. Several reasons why a guy would just say, no, nah, I ain't ready this time. I'd rather go back, get my stuff back together, and come back and do it later. I'm not that guy. I don't believe in stopping because if you stop one time, you'll stop again. So I don't believe in that, but these new age guys, they're different. Do you feel like in your era, right, you told me off camera you had no friends. Do you feel like these boxers today are too friendly with each other? They're way too friendly, man. I mean, you know, but like I said, the world's got like that. You know what I mean? The world has changed. Nowadays, you can do things that you couldn't do when I was coming up. You understand? And it's acceptable. So now, we can be friends and we fight. How we friends and we fight? You know what I mean? It's like, this is why I hate the fact that we take so many different sports out of society. You know what I mean? If you go up watching roosters, people think, oh, they make them play. No, you don't. But roosters at a certain age, he don't want nothing to do no other His dad is good, that is his brother. He don't want nothing to do with nobody. He's a fighter. All right, man, I appreciate you, Roy. All right, buddy, take care.